Yeah guys, I'm going to show you how to replace a broken glass panel in your garage door. I've already removed the broken glass here, and I'm using an automotive clip picking tool, but you can use anything firm and slim to pry open this side trim. In a second here, I'll show you how this trim is designed to fit onto the internal piece and how you can put it back together. So looking at this expertly prepared diagram, you'll see that there's these little teeth or grooves inside of that trim piece and that's what latches on to that internal section that you just pried off. So you just kind of like work your way from one side and work, work your way all the way down to the bottom and uh, you should come off pretty easy. So now I'm continuing this trim prying effort on the top and the bottom section but I'm only doing this enough so that it gives me some space to slide the glass in because if you take off the entire trims it actually is a little bit cumbersome to try and push it together. You may even need a second person to push on the opposite end of the garage to, to get it to latch on. So it's easier this way. But please be very careful. Sometimes these garage door trims are very old and brittle. And this one's from a home back in like 1993. So now I have my piece of glass or glazing that I hand cut myself. I'll provide some links below to some little uh, kits they can use to prepare this. But um, when you're inserting this, it, it really helps to put a little bit of oil or something on the edges so that it'll slide through cleanly because it otherwise will catch on the plastic and be hard to, to push through. I ran into the complication earlier that I didn't clean up enough of the little debris from the broken glass. So there was some blockage when I was trying to insert it. I, had, I kept removing it, insert it, remove it, insert it, and I realized there was a ton of glass in the bottom still. So definitely make sure it's clean so you can slide it in easy. My phone memory card actually maxed out shortly after this, so I couldn't actually get the full product or the full result. But at this point, you can very easily just push on those little trim pieces, snap it back into place, and you're pretty much done. Uh, those little uh, top and bottom sections where I did the half side, those will be the easiest. But the entire left side trim that we took off, I absolutely recommend having a partner or someone to help you push from the opposite side and help you uh, lock it into place. Those grooves sometimes can be a little bit stiff and might require some extra effort. Well, I got a quote from some garage contractor. And he quoted me $400 to do this job, which is really ridiculous, for about like 15 minutes of work. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't any videos showing how to do this with this style of garage window. I hope I provided to you guys valuable information so you can do this yourself, save a ton of money. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. <laughs> I got fired